Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and today we're going to be showing you my new favorite Sublime Text 3 color scheme and theme. Now, this is based off of Google's material design spec and it includes things like folder animation, so it includes suggested preferences, two different color schemes, and two different themes uh, if you like your themes dark or light. And even the light theme is not really that light, but either dark or not so dark. So let's check it out right now. So we've been using this SETI UI pack is the theme that we've been using latest to get these icons and the style. However, the theme that I've been using most often is now the material design theme. And we can get that simply by going now to package control. And let's just type in package and install package. And now you can find this theme by searching for material design. So here we have material theme. Cool, let's add this. And you'll notice it gives you some options here. So these options will look best after we've already sort of applied some of this stuff. And this theme's really easy to enable just by copying and pasting things from the splash screen. Now, we could enable it simply by using themer, listing it, and then enabling it that way. However, this is really easy because it gives us some options here. It says if you just want to use this theme, go ahead and copy and paste this, put it in your user settings. So let's come to my Sublime Text uh, Preferences and then Settings User Settings. And now, see I got really nothing in here. Let's get rid of this current theme and paste these in here. Get rid of these extra curly brackets because uh, it's already within an object here. And fix the uh, tabbing a little bit. Now when we save it, uh, we're now using the new material design color scheme as you can see which is this green color uh, It has a really nice uh, lighter greenish blue for the text And then we have some colored icons that fit along with the material design color palette in addition We also have this material design uh, Theme where we have the top bars and the sidebars here um, And when we open up our folders we get little folder animations and stuff like that Just little nice tweaks that make this nice to use and here's some suggested user experience settings that I found to be really nice as well. So if we copy these, move over, and add these to the object here. And again, I can you don't need to fix um, the tabbing in here, but eh, that's something I like to do. Okay, and now we can save this. And you can see it spread things out a little bit more. Now this font options gray anti-alias looks best if you were on a retina screen since this monitor I'm using isn't a high resolution monitor. It's a pretty standard resolution monitor. It, it can look a little uh, crisp here, a little too crisp. So this font options gray anti-alias is gonna look really nice on your high resolution monitors, but not so much on lower resolution. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete that. There we go, now we have a little bit uh, heftier font coming in because of the lower resolution. But we have a little bit more line spacing. We have these overlay scroll bars. We have the material theme, always show mini, mini map, um, bolding the folder label so that the folders are bold. And we have some indent guide options as well. I can get rid of this comment. However, there are more recommended settings for this material theme. Um, so if we do material theme sublime in Google come to the github page You'll notice that in addition to some screenshots of what it looks like here um, yeah, Some known issue stuff theme options and recommended UI settings Well, the theme options are something that we uh, didn't get a message about in sublime itself if we copy and paste these over you'll notice I don't love all of these so I'm gonna go through these one by one and, and talk a little bit about them So again, I'm just fixing the tabbing here, for no real reason. Okay, now when I save this, you'll need, uh, you'll notice some things change. The first one, material theme, small tab, which is this tabs up here are uh, quite a bit smaller. That's one thing I really actually enjoy. That's a setting that I keep. Now, this is disabling the file icons. I happen to really like the file icons. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete that line so that we can get our file icons back. Next is a disable the folder animation to true. I like the little folder animation. There's nothing crazy about it. It's just when you open a folder, it animates open. So we can uh, delete that. Now you can see we get going from full to open here. We get this 
the icon itself is animating. Now material theme small status bar. I like the small status bar as well. We don't need a large status bar. It sort of gets it out of the way. Uh, the tree, disable the tree indicator. I happen to like the tree indicator as well. And the last one is material theme bold tab. It's make the tab labels bolder. I like that one as well too. It makes your tab stick out quite a bit. And so here we have the, the theme. If we close this theme and reopen up Sublime, You'll notice that parts of it that didn't get applied are now applied, so we now have the top bar. We don't have any weird black chunks in here, and it all looks really good. Um, we saw on the GitHub page and the settings that first popped up that there were some other options. We have a darker and a lighter theme. You can see the screenshots of them here. The one that I found myself using more so than any of these, whether it's the standard, the dark, or the light, is the dark. I use the dark for the color scheme and for the theme itself on my own personal machine. Uh, so if I copy this and just paste it in here, you can see that we now have uh, this dark theme. And it's really just a gray version of the theme. The colors pop out really nice. The blues look a little bit uh, more stand, they stand out a little bit more. Um, the text is, the commenting text is gray instead of blue. For me, this is just easier to read. If I pop up in a CSS file, you can see that the colors are really nice. They stick out. Uh, your elements are red, your properties are blue, and your values are orange and yellow. Uh, it's just, uh, for me, this is an ideal kind of color scheme. So this is something that I use quite a bit. So this is my new favorite color scheme and theme. This is how I like to use it. Check it out. Let me know how you like to have yours configured. Um, the material color scheme, um, Material theme package is a really nice addition to Sublime Text 3. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. We love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.